Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fallout 76. My name is Camel, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock most weapon modifications in Fallout 76. Now, some weapon mods do require plans that you need to read to learn them, but about like 90% of them in the game can be unlocked in the way I'm going to show you, and you should get on it right away if you haven't already. And if you are into this kind of stuff, links to my other Fallout 76 videos can be found down in the description, along with my social media media links, be sure to check all of that out after this video. So unlocking or learning weapon modifications is an important part of your Fallout 76 experience. You want to be able to make your weapon as good as it can be by applying it with modifications that make it suit you best. Quite simply, to unlock the majority of weapon modifications in the game, all you need to do is scrap weapons. When you scrap a weapon, you'll likely unlock slash learn a new modification for that weapon. So it is very important that early on and even later on into the game, you pick up every weapon you can. Even if you do end up over encumbered, just make your way to a workbench and scrap all of the unwanted weapons. Also, I'd suggest not holding onto weapons. If you're level five and you come across a level 45 hunting rifle, sure, that will be good at level 45, but for the now, just scrap it. You'll come across another one, and there's no point in carrying around a 20 pound rifle in your stash or in your inventory. Just scrap that thing. As we'll see in the background footage here, I would go on an adventure and I'd return with a ton of weapons. Mostly to stack them up for this video as an example, I wouldn't normally be carrying like 100 weapons at a time. But if you do go out and you went like, I mean, even if you pick up like five weapons, you'll probably become over encumbered by that alone. And while it is incredibly inconvenient at the time being massively over encumbered, in the long run, I think it's definitely worth it. And while it might seem like a long trek all the way back to your camp or wherever there's a workbench, oftentimes when you're out and about, you'll come across workbenches anyway. And when you do, it's always a good time to scrap everything you can there and then, just like a public toilet, you might as well use it then because you don't know when you're going to find another one. And of course, weapons weigh many times more than their scrap components do. So scrap the weapons as often as you can. Now, after a while, you will have unlocked all of the weapon modifications you can by scrapping a particular weapon type. So you don't have to collect those weapons anymore. Once you start scrapping them and not unlocking new mods, you know you've unlocked all the mods you can by scrapping them. For example, when I scrap a pipe weapon on my character, I don't unlock any new mods for the pipe weapon. Therefore, you guessed it, I don't need to burden myself with those damn pipe weapons anymore. But early on, it's definitely worth grabbing everything and scrapping everything. As we can see here, because I picked up every weapon I came across and scrapped them, when I went to mod my 10mm pistol, I had a large array of modifications available for me to craft and apply to my 10mm pistols. Because, again, although inconvenient at the time, I went out of my way to collect every weapon I came across and scrap every weapon to unlock weapon modifications for myself. Now, if you do wish to farm weapons, you can, of course, just find them out and about in the world, or you can kill super mutants, the scorched, or the mole miners, as they all carry weapons that you'll be able to pick up and scrap to unlock modifications. Now, for the last 10% or so of the higher end weapon mods, you'll need to acquire the plans for them and have appropriate perk cards and all that complicated good stuff. But for most weapon modifications, you will unlock them by scrapping weapons using this technique that I've just showed you. It's very simple. Um, some people definitely wouldn't know that's how you unlocked weapon mods unless told. So the best of luck to you and I hope you have fun putting a bayonet onto a silenced, recon scoped, extended mag, lever action, fully single shot, automatic, quad barreled, 50 cal mini nuke shotgun, black powdered missile launcher that does 15% more damage to Maya Lox with an $18 paint job from the Atomic Store. Good luck to you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for unlocking weapon modifications in Fallout 76. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Fallout 76 guides that I've already done. Links to all of those can be found down in the description. Now, down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, or if you want to do it in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon or a member right 
right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is most genuinely welcomed and appreciated in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.